Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to it another video. Today, I am going to review one of the awesome uh, tool or PDF viewer or document viewer. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, here I am at the official <coughs> website of Ocular, and uh, here you can go get the information about the Ocular. And uh, here, first of all, uh, Ocular is document viewer or PDF here is the definition. Here are the latest news uh, by that uh, Ocular KDE. Uh, okay, uh, I, and uh, Ocular is a cross platform document viewer, probably. Uh, so uh, let's begin the review. Mm. Okay, let's go. Here I have opened one of the PDF. Uh, uh, PDF of the, this but uh, and it is the internet technology subject uh, and uh, that it is the unit one introduction to interest uh, to internet technology uh, rather than going to the content uh, let's go to the tool first uh, so uh, here you will get the contents uh, co contents of the PDF and they, uh, these are the thumbnails and thumbnails are the, the page wise thumbnails they are page one phase two and uh, up to the last page or uh, last last page of the pdf and this is the um, uh, thumbnails and this is the review tab and here you get the reviews collector of uh, collector from your reviews or annotation that you have used i'll show how you can keep the annotations as well uh, in later and this is the this is the uh, bookmark section here the bookmarks are uh, are kept here and uh, book uh, books uh, books mass bookmarks uh, that you made uh, will be uh, collected or saved here uh, and this is the over overview of the uh, over, overview of the uh, this ocular and let's go to full screen mode i am going to show you full screen mode for full screen mode you can go uh, you can tap control shift f or you can go to this view and you can uh, select full screen mode uh, same thing i'll uh, i'll go from cure control shift f sorry it's not going probably i have clicked that so it's not navigated uh, so um, uh, <coughs> this is the full skin mode you can have uh, both full skin, full skin mode as well as the normal mode and you can escape the full skin mode by clicking ctrl shift f uh, then after uh, i'm going to show you another presentation mode that is uh, ctrl shift v and this is the uh, presentation mode and here uh, you can just, just this is the pdf here uh, just like the presentation uh, presentation tools that microsoft presentation or or a library office presentation uh, same like that and you can edit the um, you can <coughs> can do some drawing drawing stuff here and <coughs> and you can select the colors uh, so this is uh, i feel this is a, one of the coolest feature of the pdf viewer ocular okay let's zoom to uh, now let's zoom to the uh, okay uh, mode changer okay so let's go to background changer uh you can change the uh, back color uh, back background as well sorry i'm confused with the uh, background and ocular <laughs> i said uh back color okay leave it that uh, so now here you can go to accessibility then uh, you can choose the color more whichever invert color invert colors invert colors means just uh, inverting the color of text and the background and uh, that is a uh, black and white uh, black and white to white and black uh, white for text and uh, black for background and change up uh, uh, paper color you can change or choose any paper color here and uh, change dark and light mode if you have the, um, some of the that uh, what, <coughs> light screen light problem then you can uh, choose this as well and convert black and white uh, this is the normal mode. so i'm going to import the colors for, for to show you and i'm going to apply, click apply so it is applied there so this is one of, one of the coolest feature of a cooler uh, here the color has been changed uh, so you can enjoy the color and you can um, uh, change the colors up is for is for your likes and uh, what you want uh, you can you can read your pdf in your favorite color so this is one of the coolest feature now i'm going to jump to next coolest feature uh, that is uh, keeping annotations and editing so i'm going to uh, report back to my original 
and this is the original so now i'm going to show you uh, annotations and uh, some of the you know, coolest you know, annotation features in a cooler that is no more available in uh, other uh, pdf readers document viewers i haven't seen that uh, yet uh, this is the first time ever i have seen uh, <coughs> those annotation features and review features in this uh, uh, document viewer uh, cooler so control for no 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 sorry function uh, f6 if you click f6 and uh, the uh, uh, re review tabs or uh, those annotations uh, appear annotation tab appear here you can do whatever you like this is probably pop-up node so you can do uh, you can hit pop-up node for anything select for select this and then it pop up this is this is pop up node okay let's save it so when you click here uh, the pop-up nodes appears oh sorry pop-up node Pop-up notes appear, and when you, when you click cross it, yeah, it will disappear. This is the pop-up note. Then, uh, what is this? This is inline note. You can add inline note as well, uh, just like you can you can uh, do it like this. And uh, this is let's say this is inline note. Okay, okay. Let's save it, and this has the so uh, this has uh, what this has a. Uh, erase the back uh the text here and it has kept the inline in inline note and you can move this uh, wherever you want to keep and by this way you can keep the inline note and you can change the properties uh sorry you can change the property so probably yeah so from here you can change the properties just like colors you can uh, choose whatever color you like for um, or your favorite color you can place favorite colors and uh, just click this and so you uh so by this way you can uh, you can keep the inline nodes and uh, what is this this is the free and line this is you, you can you can put the free and line like this and uh, uh, you can so just like this um, uh, handwritten underline kind of thing this is and uh, this is highlighter uh, so if you if uh, you find anything interesting you can highlight the text like this so i'm going to highlight this sentence and this is highlighted and i can change the property colors just like this uh, so i'm going to highlight this with red okay okay apply okay so why the color are not being changed why the color i don't i'm not getting it why different color i'm getting so i'm going to try it again and next sentence so here Oh, 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 now I got it. The properties are for highlights, uh, underline, or anything else. You can choose here from here as well. And then uh, you can let's pick the color. Mm, okay, let's not be, uh, pick pink for now. Uh, let's pick uh, 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 this one. Okay, let's apply it. Okay, so when we click, sorry. Uh, so so you can um, uh, just um, just you understand that uh, the uh, uh, highlight uh, you can keep highlight and you can um, change the colors uh, but it is not appearing I don't know why uh, but this is one of the feature of uh, this uh, uh, a cooler uh, probably it will um, appear or there, there are some problems uh, in that navigating uh, so but uh, you can keep highlight uh, and you can highlight your text uh, just understand that and this is a uh, highlight uh, we have already tried this is a straight line okay we can on just like underline you can put a straight line here sorry oh, oh, oh this is the straight line yeah uh, straight line for some drawing purpose you can keep uh, the straight lines uh, like this and uh, next is polygon okay let's select uh, polygon polygon mm, what is this this is polygon yeah uh, so let's select oh we have to right click then after uh, mm, yeah you, you, can, you can create a polygon as well uh, like this and oh oh by this way you can you can you can select the box with the help of this polygon feature polygon annotation uh, then you can keep a uh, stamp i think uh, 
put a stamp you can put a stamp here this is our stamp or whatever stamp you want to give you can keep but uh, uh, in properties it says that this experimental feature and this uh, uh, stamps uh, appears only in the ocular uh, when you when you open that document in ocular but that doesn't appear in other document viewer uh, so <coughs> this is an uh, experimental phase and uh, next uh, underline text this is uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, this is underline text you can underline just selecting uh, sorry mm -hmm. or oh, you can select test uh, you have to select test and then uh, it uh, and then drag and drop that text you can select and deselect the test and then the uh, underline will appear in the in the text you have selected okay uh, now let's try another feature this is the oval shape then now you have to select the uh, area for oval shape then uh, here you can get the oval shape and this is text inline text probably you can edit here box and then um, you can write this is an inline uh, an inline inline text like this way and uh, you can keep it and uh, this is the note you have added and you can save it and uh, view it in later cases uh, okay so uh, let's go to the reviews and now we have we have got reviews here so you can just navigate to there uh, this is the author uh, my pc name and uh, i'm logged in as a arbit user so uh, it's under i write uh our right author so here is the pop-up note we have kept let's navigate to that uh pop-up note is here we have added first so uh, the pop-up note appear here then after inline note uh this is inline note we have paired free hand line this is free hand line uh then after uh, th these are the highlights we have kept mm -hmm. and then this is uh, and in phase three we have what we have drawn a straight line then after polygon this is the polygon we have kept uh, then after stamp we have uh, used here on an underline these are the underlines and this is the geometry we have um, we have uh, used and in in phase four what we have done let's see typewriter uh, we have uh, used this inline text and we can move the, uh, the inline text whatever we like and when you hit controls s and then yeah it will say it will save our changes uh, so uh, this is it uh, this is the review of Akula. I, I find this software uh, very fabulous and uh, an awesome tool and i'm using it and i'll use it and i'll drop other pdf viewers local viewers so uh, this is another fascinating document viewer uh, if i had missed anything else you can add uh, or if you know other awesome tools like uh, the, the circular uh, just comment it out and i'll try that and i'll do review of that as well okay thanks for having me uh, see you on next video thank you